G'day, I'm Mick the Camp Oven Cook and today I wanted to talk about these little things here. These are briquettes. Now, a lot of people get them confused or they'll call them heat beads, but that's the brand. These themselves are called briquettes. So it doesn't matter what brand you're using, at the end of the day, the product is called a briquette. Now, in the last 10 years, these have become a very popular source of heat control for camp oven cooking. And a lot of people asking about how many do I use, how do I light them, and all that sort of stuff. So today's video is, is going to be a big in-depth talk about everything you need to know about cooking with briquettes. Let's get started. So when it comes to lighting these bad boys, they are very particular on the way you light them up because they need to get nice and hot to make them ash over. Now they are invented to use inside of a Weber barbecue, but they will work really well for camp oven cooking. And that's by using one of these heat bead chimneys. Now they enable the heat beads to get ashed up really fast and ready to cooking nice and easy. So all you need to do is put some of these heat beads in your chimney, use some fire lighters like these, place them under the bottom of the chimney and then light them up, place the chimney back on and give it about half an hour to 40 minutes. And that's pretty easy on getting them going. Now some things I want to talk about about them is that you don't need a lot of fire lighters because the idea is, is that the radiating heat will go from the bottom all the way to the top and in that way they'll ash over nice and fast inside of this chimney device. Another question I get about these is they go out really fast or how do I know when they're ready, things like that. So when they're ready, they're gonna be nice and white and they've got an ash coating over them, then they're ready to place on top of your camp oven. And, and if you experience with them going out really quick, these boys are affected by weather. They're also affected by moisture. So if you get a bag that's been wet or it's been moist, um, they may go out a lot faster or they may not work really well. Um, best thing to do is probably take those back. And they're also affected by weather. So if you've got a lot of wind around you, or it's nice and cold, they can go out a lot quicker. But to, to get around that, you just add more heat beads when they cool down a bit. Just the same as using coals. When coals get cold, then you top it up. And so that way you can keep the camp oven cooking. When it comes to heat placement, it's the same whether you're using coals or heat beads or even gas. And the best way to think about it is, is think about how you do it at home. So at home, if you're cooking a baked cake or a loaf of bread or a um, roast lamb, it's all inside of the oven. It's the same thing with the camp oven. You put it inside of the oven and then you put your heat on the outside on the top and bottom. Now that just depends on whether, if you're doing a roast or baking or something like that, you'll want more heat on top and a little bit less on the bottom. This also eliminates the need for a trivet as well because you've got less heat going to burn the direct bottom of the camp oven. And then when it comes to cooking soups or stews or uh, spaghetti inside of the house, same sort of principle for the camp oven. Um, you just need bottom heat. So it's just some heat underneath the bottom of the camp oven to do your boiling or your stewing and things like that. And then when it comes to cooking things like uh, a stew with uh, dumplings, then you'll want to put some heat on top when you put your dumplings in so that make sure they cook properly as well. Next question I get a lot is about heat control and about how many briquettes do I use on the camp oven. And at the end of the day, there are a lot of methods out there. There's putting a piece of cooking paper in there and seeing what color it comes to guess how hot it is in the oven. There's methods like um, counting your heat beads on the top and the bottom. And there's also uh, using you know, a thermometer some people put in there and when they get it to the right temperature, but the best way is by feel and by touch. And the traditional way of camp oven cooking is just to guess. So for me, I like to start off with less heat and then work my way off. So if it's too hot too soon, you'll ruin the food. If you just remember that saying, that will help you whenever you camp oven cooking. So you put less on the top and less on the bottom. If you're doing baking or less on the bottom, if you're doing a stew, and then that way, give it 10, 15 minutes. And if it's not ready yet, come back, check it, add some more until you get to a temperature. Another thing with cooking with heat beads or coals, if you place your hand over the top of the camp oven here, just like this, 
and if you can hold it there gently without it burning or scorching then it's at a really good temperature but if you put it there and it's burning you'll know that you've got it a bit too hot i hope that helps you just remember when you're using those heat bee charts that are available on the internet or those briquette charts there are so many of them and there are so many that are incorrect the best one is by Derek Bullock and he took so much time in creating that um, it is very accurate but you need to remember when using those charts that those charts are designed around heat beads the brand but if you're using briquettes like hot shots those beads are bigger they're hotter so you'll need to use less so those charts are just a guide just remember that that's why i like to stick to the if it's too hot too soon you're going to ruin your food method another one that i'm going to talk about today is about doing lots of cooking or cooking for a long time so when you're doing lots of cooking you might need a lot of chimneys but or you're doing something that's cooking for a really long time you'll need to make some more heat the best way to do that is not by using more fire lighters and that is just by not using all the briquettes that are in the chimney when you get and leave some in the bottom when you need some more briquettes throw some more in the top and they'll start heating up again because it's nice and hot in that chimney still from the layer that's there that's still hot I've been cooking in the camp oven for a long time and especially being around the, the social media side of it and I see so many people in the past few years going don't use briquettes because that's not the traditional way but at the end of the day for me personally it doesn't matter if you're using coals, briquettes, gas what matters to me is you're getting out there and using your camp oven briquettes are really handy for camp oven cooking because they contain their heat really well for a longer time than some coals depending on what wood you burn and they also are enabled to be used at home and a lot of places that you can't use fires or if you don't want to do a lot of cooking and don't need a big fire use your briquettes because you only need a few of them you don't have to light up a whole chimney just light up what you need for the cooking and then that way you're not wasting wood as well when it comes to storing heat beads it's really important to make sure that they're dry you can leave them in the bag that they're designed in for just make sure you put them somewhere that's dry and dark so that they don't get wet and moist or store them inside of a bucket with a lid that way they're all enclosed and it's airtight and they're not going to get full of moisture in there but just still store them somewhere where it's not wet Another tip when using heat beads is using a pair of long handled tongs to take them out and put them on top of the oven and I like wearing a pair of gloves that way it shields the heat from your hands and you can get them nice and close because they are quite hot. Anyway guys that's been my little video on using heat beads for camp oven cooking just remember don't overthink it get out there and do it. I'm Mick the camp oven cook goodbye. Well, if you're still watching now, make sure you like and subscribe my video so you get more notifications when I do some more. And also check out my free downloadable ebook on my website full of tasty recipes you can do in the camp oven. And I also have lots on my website as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Mick.